And that was former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton learning the nene on Ellen earlier this week, the nene. But has the time arrived to project that Hillary Clinton's status as the Democratic frontrunner may be coming to an end? While such a projection might be premature, it is to be noted that her lead over Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders has now shrunk to just 10 points. According to the latest CNN ORC poll, Mrs. Clinton's support among Democrats is down to just 37 percent, 10 points lower than the August poll, while Vermont, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders has 27 percent support and Vice President Joe Biden, who has not yet joined the race, has 20 percent. In addition to the Clinton decline against her own primary candidates, she has now lost the advantage she once held in general election matchups, according to the same CNN ORC poll. In head-to-head -head matchups, Hillary Clinton now trails former neurosurgeon Ben Carson by five points, while roughly even with former Florida Governor Jeb Bush and GOP frontrunner Donald Trump. Of course, it remains very early in the process, but guys, this can't be good news for the Clinton campaign. Jonathan, how does this turn out? I mean, Look, can I just ask, and I'd love to hear people, what they think about this that are liberal or Democrats. You know, the only thing that is worse than a, a, a criminal uh, that is running for office is a socialist that's running for office, and they're, they're, ta they're torn between who they're going to vote for, a criminal or a socialist. Listen. You take socialist over criminal, huh? No. Really? I, I said, well, is that what I just said? Yeah. yeah. So, actually, <laughs> yeah. I take that back. I think the okay, criminal is worse. If I said that, what I meant was a criminal could probably be, still be competent and lead a country, whereas a socialist would come out and potentially destroy the, the everything that we have in this country. Be in jail, which would complicate matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually think the, right. the, the, the poll here that is really startling is Ben Carson so handily beating Hillary Clinton in a head-to-head -head matchup. Well, because that's what I thought was interesting, uh, more, than Trump. Number, more yeah. than Trump. But Ben Carson is not exactly a household name. I mean, I know he is with Newsmax viewers and with all of us here at the table, but that voters would be asking, look at this list of names, and they pick out Ben Carson. Hillary Clinton has been a public figure for, what, going on 30, 40 years now. Yeah. Because maybe Ben Carson isn't doing what we talked about in the last segment, and that is attacking people, right. uh, being obnoxious, attacking women, and they see him as an outsider, just like Trump, right? But without all the baggage that comes along with Trump. And they like the fact that he is like Trump, like Sanders, a very authentic, soft-spoken su person. Surprised they even know who he is to tell a pollster, I'll pick him. I, I'm a little bit surprised by that. Yeah, yeah. he's certainly not the the name. To, to they, answer your they question, actually, they actually know him better than we might think. That's yeah. right. I can't see this reversing. I, I can't see her continuing not to go down. It's she's dropped 20 points in two months. She can't rebrand herself. We all know who she is. To she Amy's point, she was doing point. the nay nay, Joe. She was doing the nay nay, which yeah. looks which looks just so horribly awkward when, when she right, tries to do right, that on the week where she said she'd have more nay on the nay nay on the week where she said she'd be more personable, by the way, and announced it to the world and then does it. It's just the worst campaign I've ever seen. But, but Rick, Rick, let me ask you this though. Is. Isn't there other people that the Democrats can look towards? Well, I mean, is it really? Us, some is there of us are looking towards the Joe vice Biden. president, but yeah, we but don't Joe, know if he's going to Joe play. Biden has been in Senate for 30 years, and Senate and Congress have destroyed this country. Why would you want somebody who's a part of those losing teams? Right, you get the last word. I'm moving on. Well, the second GOP <laughs> primary debate will take place on CNN next week, and we now know who's made the cut and who is not. There will still be two debates, but the rules for qualifying did change from the first Fox News debate with eligibility for the so-called adults table, I call it the grown-ups table, and kids table based on an average of 14 different polls and interviews conducted over the past two months. Making the APM main event are Donald Trump, Jeb Bush, Scott Walker, Ben Carson, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Mike Huckabee, Rand Paul, John Kasich, Chris Christie, and Carly Fiorina, whose polling numbers surged after the last debate in the 6 p.m. Oh, in the 6 p.m. debates are not too many. Rick Perry, Rick Santorum, Bobby Jindal, George Pataki, and of course, Lindsey Graham. We're going to miss or, that Jim Gilmore. Jim Gilmore <laughs> that, did you exactly notice, the first thing that stood out Did you me. notice they expanded the number to 11 in the main poll so Carly Fiorina would make it? Why even have, that, that, other have. Why even have that other debate, though? Why even have well, that? Well, they're candidates. They filed. They have a right.
I don't know why we're doing it the way we're doing it. I don't think it should be divided this way. I think you should mix them all up. Draw In a cage lots. and let them fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I'm okay with that. Exactly I'm okay what I with said. that. Fiorina absolutely should have been on that stage. What CNN was doing was taking polling going all the way back to July. Then they got so much blowback and they said, you've got to take more recent polls. And Fiorina clearly is in the top ten and top five in some instances. She will make this infinitely more entertaining and she'll be the one who will effectively go after Donald Trump. Get your popcorn ready, Ricky. Ah, you get the last word. Let <laughs> Let us know what you think of Hillary's vanishing advantage and the GOP primary debate lineup by going to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. And we do want to know who your pick is for the 2016 nomination. Go to NewsmaxPolls.com to cast your vote. Coming up next, viewer comments.